A missile launch facility, also known as an underground missile silo, launch facility, or nuclear silo, is a vertical cylindrical structure constructed underground for the storage and launching of intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, intermediate range ballistic missiles, IRBMs, medium range ballistic missiles, MRBMs. Similar facilities can be used for anti ballistic missiles, ABMs. The structures typically have the missiles some distance below ground, protected by a large blast door on top. They are usually connected physically and or electronically to a missile launch control center. The question is, what happens to a missile silo after a launch? Does the missile exhaust damage the silo beyond repair or are they reusable? The thing you need to know is, there are two types of missile launches, the hot launch and the cold launch. In a hot launch, the missile or rocket is ignited and launched directly from its launch system. The launch system remains connected to the missile throughout the ignition and launch process. This means that the missile ignites its engines while still attached to the launch system, and it is propelled out of the launch system using its own engines. Hot launches are commonly used in missile systems where the launch system is designed to withstand the heat, pressure, and exhaust generated by the missile's engines. For example, the Minuteman 3 was a hot launch missile, meaning its engines ignited inside the silo. You can see this in the smoke rings produced when they launch. The silo would have to be repaired before any new missile could be loaded. In a cold launch, the missile or rocket is first ejected from its launch system using a gas or pneumatic system. The missile is propelled clear of the launch system but does not ignite its engines immediately. Once the missile has cleared the launch system, it can be either free-falling or propelled by a separate booster system. After a safe distance, the missile's engines ignite and it begins its powered flight. Cold launches are often used in systems where the launch system cannot withstand the heat or pressure generated by the missile's engines, or in situations where it is desirable to separate the missile from the launch system before ignition. What this means is that the silo itself is not damaged by the launching of the missile like a hot launch would. It is possible that the spent container be removed, and a new loaded container inserted into the silo in a very short period of time. So what do you think? Thanks for watching.